So this is the video. What I feel that you need to do, you know, in order to prevent yourself getting in a situation, you know, to recognize real what, how you stop yourself from be getting hurt, getting played. And this is what I would say to my daughter, because my biggest fear is to have somebody I love, somebody that I brought into the world be hurt. And I'd want to like arm my child with, you know, what she needs to know. It's, ain't nobody playing my daughter. Ain't nobody going to do that to my child. And I want her to know. And firstly, I just got to say it's like this. Prevention is better than the cure. There's no point in getting in a situation and then thinking, okay, how do I rectify this? How do I do this? Why am I getting hurt? Why is he doing me like this? Can I change him? Can I do that? When you dance with the devil, you don't change the devil. The devil changes you. And everybody knows that saying. But why are you trying to cure a bad situation when you can prevent it? Have a deterrent. Make it so difficult for you to be getting played with. Your walls have got to be up to a certain level that not anybody can just get through. Determination is needed. Persistence is needed to get through to you. And there are guys that are going to play you who are determined and are persistent. And don't care whether it takes a day or a year, but you have to make your heart for these people. We treat our hearts with so little care. We just give our hearts to anybody. But when it comes to money, we don't do that. You would never just give your money to somebody to invest. If somebody says, yo, give me a thousand and I'll turn it into 20,000. You're not just going to give it to them because you don't know that's too much risk. You're not with it. When you go to the bank and you want to start a business, they don't just give you the money. They want to see proof. They want to see investments. They want to see business plans. They might give you a small amount. Then with that small amount, they want to see if you're going to come back and make it bigger and see if you was real about your stuff. People have got to prove to you. These guys have got to prove to you. They got to prove to you, ladies, that they're worth your love. They're worth a position in your heart. Your heart is priceless. It's worth more than money, but we value it less. They have to prove that they're worthy of a place in your heart without a physical doubt. They have to be willing to really climb over those walls, no matter how many obstacles you put in, in the way to stop them. The thing is, it's all about sex. It is all about sex. The reason these guys do this is for an end goal. They play you, they use you, whatever. It's for an end goal. We have multiple females. The end goal is sex. Sex is the motive. Whether it's sex, money, or love, it's got to be something. And sex is this motive. Now, I'm not saying, okay, well, maybe the easiest thing is just not to give it up, ever. That is a thought, though, and that's a thought that's been crossing on my mind. How do you prevent the situation? And it's like, if you're hungry and you open a refrigerator door, you're starving. You really need to eat. And there's only one piece of food in there. You're going to eat it. You might not even like it, but you're hungry, so you take whatever. But with relationships in your heart, you don't have to be like that. You you don't have to just like rush into something. You don't just have to go with whoever will take you. You don't have to go with whoever will give you sweet words, whoever says a couple of nice things, who kind of seems right. You're saying a couple of the right things. You're not going to die of starvation if you wait. Make them prove without a doubt that they're worthy. Make them earn their position. Look at who you are, y'all. Women, y'all was the rep right there. You was created from a man's rib and you stand by his side. That shows you exactly who, you're, who you are, what you're worth. But a lot of you don't recognize what you're worth and you're letting these dudes just come in with whack game and lies and deceit. And I can't give you the answer and say, do you know what? This is exactly how you spot a liar. This is how you spot somebody that's trying to manipulate you. This is how you do this because that's what you want. But I can't give you that. Do you know why I can't give you that? Because it's already in here. It's already in there. You've got common sense. You know when you're being played. You know when you're being lied to. Make it difficult. It's okay to be hard. You got to have your walls up. See, the thing is, men like to chase. Men love to chase. They will chase and chase and chase, and they love that. But as soon as you end up in a situation where, like, they give it up, maybe they don't want it no more. Sex on a first date, they might stay with you forever. Sex after a year, they might leave after you gave it up. And that's the scary thing for you. Because the scary thing is there's some guys out there that are so determined, so persistent, they don't care. You won't play the hardball game. And they're just going to, yeah, I'm going to keep doing. I'm going to keep playing. I'm going to keep lying. I'm going to keep doing what I got to do. 
and I'm going to get through this. And as soon as she gets, she going to give it up to me because she's going to be like, yeah, this dude deserves it. But you know what? There's a way around it. Like I'm telling you, you got to make them earn. Pay attention. Ladies, listen to everything they say to you. People have got to be consistent. Liars are never consistent. Manipulators are never consistent. They might consistently lie. Check their actions. Check the way they say stuff. Have your walls up here. As they go about and they prove to you that they're worthy, you might lower them a little. But as soon as they mess up a little, you'll rise them up a little. It's okay. It's okay to do that. Bring them up a little. Don't drop them so low like all of a sudden. It brings me down to the point when I sit there and I think to myself, you got to wait. You got to wait for that right person. Now, does that mean no sex before marriage? And a lot of these guys, if you say no sex before marriage and they truly believe you and you truly, you know, are adamant and your will is strong for this, well, you are going to get rid of a whole lot of BS because it's one thing to be persistent for a year or however long they want to be persistent for to get some pussy. And most guys will do whatever they can to have sex with a female. But marriage probably isn't one of the ones. They don't really want to go that far. So that leads you to think maybe God is right. Maybe this is why it's supposed to be. We're supposed to get married. That has to be a thought in your mind. And I'm not a religious person, but that thought plays on my mind. But what about people that don't want to get married? You don't want to get married, but you just don't want to get played. You want to have a relationship, a meaningful relationship, a relationship that is true, a relationship that is full of substance, that is consistent, and is not based on lies, and is not based on purely the other person just wanting to have sex. And that is simply about having them prove to you, without a doubt, that they deserve you. You, in your heart and in your mind, have a whole bunch of boxes that these guys have to tick, how they treat you, how they talk to you, how they are around you, how they are in public, how consistent they are. Why do you have to falter? Why do you have to let them slide in? Like, because they don't have a couple boxes. It's okay for them to respect you. It's okay for you to have standards. We like that. You got to have standards. You refuse to be played, refuse to be lied to, refuse to be manipulated. Keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. Keep listening to what they say, right? Make sure that they're consistent. This is the only thing that you need. That's the only thing you need to know. And you've always known this. Just recognize it. Be careful with your heart. Treat your heart like it's more important than your money, right? Don't just give it to anybody. Don't just fall for anybody's lines. Think about everything I'm saying, right? Think about it. Have they proved to you without a single doubt that they're serious? That they mean everything that they're saying. And if you have to question yourself, then raise those walls a little more. You know, it's not you, it's them. They have to prove to you, all right? They have to prove to you. Ladies, I'm not asking you to be hard and be cold and then you might miss out on, you know, the good guys. Just don't be naive. That's all you need to know. Do not be naive. They're guilty until proven innocent. Guilty until proven innocent. He got to prove to you without a doubt that he's worth it. He has to earn that place. This is a job interview. A job interview to be with you for the rest of your life. A job interview to be your husband, to be your man, to be your soulmate. Whichever one of those categories you want to be with. And I guarantee you that most guys, most of these dudes, will just fall back. Because if it's too much hard work, nah. Peace, love, and coconut oil. Hey, man, that's racist. Please remember that from now on, brand new, never before seen videos, as well as live streams, will only be available on my website, ikyg.com, via a Patreon subscription. ikyg.com is a black owned, black ran platform, 100% free from censorship. It's the only place where we don't have to worry about what we say and expressing ourselves. Make sure you check out the description and the comment section for important links, as well as information in video form that shows you what benefits you get when you support the site and join my Patreon. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe and be notified every time I upload a video. For exclusive content and perks, check out my Patreon. This is where we have private live streams, group chats, live Q&As, live phone calls, and open topics. 
This is a safe space where you can interact with other like-minded people, make friends, send each other direct private messages, and so much more without any trolls. And yes, you get to use GIFs and images in the live chats. So what are you waiting for? This is a completely independent website, free from censorship. If you'd like to make a donation towards the site so we can continue to put out the truth without fear of being silenced, then please hit that donation button. It's greatly appreciated. Check out the rest of the site for videos, private and public live streams, find out all the tea, and make sure to utilize the black money section of the website. Advertise your business absolutely free to people that look like you, free forever. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at angel underscore IKYG.